Looking to make your Xbox a safe space for kids to play and explore? Setting up parental controls is essential for any family using the Xbox Series S or X. Today, I'll walk you through how to do just that, ensuring your children can enjoy their games safely and appropriately. Let's dive right into the setup process. To set up parental controls on your Xbox, start at My Games and Apps on the home screen, where all your games and apps are listed. Look for the Settings icon, usually represented by a gear shape, and open it to access the main settings. Creating a security PIN is crucial for protecting your settings. From the Settings menu, go to the Account tab and select Sign In, Security and PIN. Here, choose Create My Passkey and input a six-digit PIN using your Xbox controller. Choose a memorable yet secure PIN. Confirm it to finalize the setup. This PIN will be required to access settings from now on. Let's manage family settings on your Xbox. First, go to the main settings menu and select Family Settings under Account. Here, you can add and manage profiles. To add a family member, choose Add to Family, then Add New. Enter their Microsoft account email. If they don't have one, you can create it here. Complete the setup by entering personal details and agreeing to the terms of service. These settings, part of Microsoft Family Safety, sync across devices like PCs, tablets, and phones, ensuring your children's digital experiences are secure and consistent wherever they log in. Adding a child account to your Microsoft Family Group is a straightforward process that ensures they can use the Xbox under the safeguards you've set. First, it's easier to handle this setup via a web browser on your computer or tablet. Open your web browser and go to the Microsoft account page. Here, you'll log in with your credentials. Once logged in, navigate to the Family section and click on Add a Family Member. Choose Add a Child and enter their email address. If your child doesn't have a Microsoft account, you'll have an option to create one for them. Follow the steps to complete the account setup, ensuring you verify any required information. After the web setup is complete, turn on your Xbox. Go to the Settings menu, select Account, then Family Settings. Here, choose Manage Family Members, and you'll see the option to Add to this Xbox. Select the child's new account, and it will prompt you to enter the password for their Microsoft account to finalize adding them to the console. This ties their web-based permissions with their gaming experience, ensuring they only access content that's appropriate for their age. Once your child's account is ready, set up access restrictions by creating an access PIN different from your sign-in PIN. This PIN controls access to their profile's content and settings. Navigate to Family Settings, select Access to Content, and create the Access PIN. You can then set content restrictions based on age. For instance, restricting games to those appropriate for a 12-year-old. To enhance online safety, manage web access through web filtering in Family Settings, where you can block or allow specific sites. Update privacy settings in Privacy and Online Safety to control profile visibility and interactions. Finally, adjust Contact and Multiplayer settings to manage who your child can communicate with during multiplayer games, ensuring a safe playing environment. Managing how much time your child spends gaming is just as important as managing content. Let's look at how you can set screen time limits using both web and mobile apps to keep a balanced schedule. To start, access the Family Safety settings from your Microsoft account online or through the Family Safety mobile app. Once you're there, navigate to the Screen Time section. Here, you can set different limits for each day of the week. For example, you might allow more screen time on weekends than on school nights. Simply select the day then adjust the allowable gaming hours to fit your family's routine. Additionally, these settings provide you with reporting features. These reports give you insights into how much time your child is spending on their Xbox, what they're playing, and any purchases they might be making. 
Monitoring these aspects helps you understand their gaming habits and make informed decisions about screen time. That's it for the video. I hope these steps helped you successfully set up parental controls on your Xbox Series SX. If you found this guide helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing for more useful tech tips. Also, if you have any questions or additional tips that worked for you in managing parental controls, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.